now we are bagged up on Betty. Betty is a Rally Royal Steel Tourer. She oh, might be able to see if I can get her through the gate. Um, and she's a very trusty steed. Indeed, you might be able to see my botched um, Garmin holder there as well. Um, so yeah, she is coming with me today for this one. And I'm going to tour from, yeah, well it's at wall where I work, um, to, so it's down in the south of the Peak District of Derbyshire, up to Buxton, kind of the middle, I suppose. Um, to Buxton Opera House, which is a fantastic venue, where tonight they are showing the Banff Film Festival. So Banff is one of the big national parks in Canada. So we have our own um, Kendall Film Festival and Banff one is it's arguably almost as good. I've got to say that because Kendall Film Festival is great as well. So I'm going to go and watch the screening of that tonight, touring my way up through the afternoon. Um, and then, yeah, it's a little bit too far to get back the same night. I could do it if I needed to, I could ride through the night. Um, but it might be time to try out my Christmas present, which Stevie foolishly bought me thinking I'd use it in the summer. You should know better by now. This is my rather wonderful hunker new bivvy bag from Alpkit, along with some of our sponsors around the world kit in terms of the... Um, Pipe Dream sleeping bag and cloud base mat, which have been long overdue a test run. So we'll see how that goes. I've got a couple of backup plans in case I bail on it. Oops. Um, but yeah, that could be very exciting and just the kind of headspace that I need right now. But you can probably see it's a bit of a bit of a glorious morning so far. It's quite crisp. So it's going to be a cold night, but. I have a lot of a lot of layers, a lot of warmth. I've, I've as you can see from the bags, I've gone, you know, kitchen sink almost. So oh, we um, got my wee stove. I've got my breakfast, my cup of tea, um, and hopefully, well, this time tomorrow morning, hopefully I'll be bombing it back down south to meet Stevie for a spit a spot of brunch. Fully escaped work. Um, not too bad a tow at all, so I'm raring to go. And I'm just um, heading out now, heading out west initially, and then I'm going to head up north. It's a little bit breezy out. Spike's quite a heavy one, so not going mega fast at the moment, but it is a, a touring ride, so not too bad. passing place there. It's already on the back roads now, it's getting lumpy. Um, it's good resistance work on a heavy bike. Uh, heading heading north I believe. It come this way a lot and it's um, quite pretty if you can see over the hedges. Um, yeah mostly quiet as well, I've not seen 
few many vehicles in the past wee while. So it's good. Nice and quiet. It's what we like. the hills now. These beautiful snowdrops here. Really lovely to see the sights of spring. But uh, yeah, it's been a stiff climb. The bike is feeling heavy. My legs are feeling it. Uh, I've been uh, doing a bit of riding and running recently, so I suppose that's no surprise. But yeah, it's still a fair way to the top. And these things are Seemed like a good idea at the time to stick this in the route, but I'm wondering what the hell was I thinking now. Um, yeah, so looks like mm, straight on. Very good. Weaver Hills, one and a quarter. For my banana, the top of um, the Weaver Hills scrub. So, a bit of a view. It's um, sorry, it's dusking already, um, and I'm under halfway still. And I that diversion through Scropton, so I'm um, gonna be fishing the daylight with it. It's not the end of the world, I have got lights, but I'd rather not use them for my view. But nice and calm up here. A um, bit of a breeze. I have to consider that later on. It should be southerly wind. Betty's doing well, but she's always a slow ride, bless her. So, yeah, I must crack on. Um, see if I can pick up some speed now. I'm hoping this is the biggest climb I've put in this route. Uh, you never know. This is just Mappleton now, um, part of one of my running routes comes through here, it's a nice little place. I remember last time I actually cycled here, Oak Over Arms, down there, but we are going left. Quite a bit of descent there, so it's a bit a little bit nippy, but hopefully we'll warm up now again. Over to our left we have a, a good view of Thought Cloud, a very distinctive hill I suppose. Not quite a mountain, but <sighs> climbing up now again, be not that high, but yeah, great scenery around here. Um, plenty lumpy.
So just um, into Elston Field now, been down the valley and back up again, um, chasing the sunset as you can see, which is rather glorious. So it's a pleasure to be out and about. Um, and yeah, just um, beautiful. What a nice afternoon for a ride. Just seen a sign for Buxton, eight and a half miles. Um, came along this road flattening out a little bit now so the bit of a roller coaster but not as yeah intense good I'd stop out there and get a cereal bar as basically bonking because um I'd had a big lunch but yeah I think that had worn off a few hours ago so I made the decision that it was worth the stop rather than pushing on too hard with not enough energy which is always the wrong choice really so I've got that little snackeroony on board to get me these last few miles into Buxton I'm gonna try and find myself some tea and a pint and hopefully still enough time to get to the show and as you can see yeah it's proper proper dusking now so daylight is waning but that's fine because I quite like riding in the dark I find it very very peaceful, um, apart from my rusty mud guard, but let's just um, tactfully ignore that for now. This is an eight. So you can probably hear it. It's, um, it's got a little bit blowy just recently. But here we are, that's Buxton. The lights below. And we just have sunrise. <laughs> and yeah, we're just set up. I heard him behind this wall. It's all pretty cool. Ooh. So yeah, all camped up. Yeah, it's been a breezy night, but it's been dry. Been toasty and warm. With all my layers down here. Um, and of course my very fetching hat, but yeah. First time I've used this bivvy set up and yeah, the bivvy bag itself is so much better than the last one I had. It feels like being in an actual tent. So, really snug, snug as a bug, and yeah, proper down sleeping bag, and the, the mat is super comfy, super, super comfy. So this bodes really well, because it's a bit of a, a bit of a um, tester for these um, bits and bobs, because they will be coming around the world with us, and they will be tested again a couple of times. Of course, we don't want to use them too much before we go, but yeah, really, really happy. So I'm going to fix some breakfast, get some tea, and I'm going to bail it off out here down to Buxton and down home. <laughs> Again, nice morning. It's 
see. Um, very breezy. I've just got these trees to my right giving me a bit of shelter at the moment, but yeah, winds are stiff. So it's kind of a cross crosswind, so it's not really helping or aiding or yeah. So heading into Ashbourne at last. We have tough old road this to the wind. So it's not quite as it normally is, but it's busy enough really, but it's the most direct route back down, but yeah. Oh, we guard me off it. Um, I'm gonna roll through down through Ashbourne now. I'm just the urge to stop for second breakfast and um, carry on back home through the lanes and, uh, hopefully Stevie will rustle me up some brunch when I get there direction of turn seems to be there and um, they get a bit of a tailwind along the long lane at least but yeah finally oh that's better so that's it mission bump divvy complete and now it is most definitely time for brunch and maybe bed I think it might be nap time Oh, look at that, first bit of proper tailwind. Oh. <laughs> anyway, it's been a great re-trip overnight. Great, great race to see an adventure film festival. Um, and to get a bit of training in, not just for leg training, which it's definitely been, but also for generalised endurance. Sleeping out, living it a bit rough and getting up and cracking on. Thank you.